Hey, it's Sam from Sugar Spun Run, and today I'll be showing you how to make sour cream cookies. Today's recipe is a sort of old fashioned cookie that obviously incorporates sour cream to give it a nice flavor, but also a nice texture. These cookies are a little bit more cakey in nature than a lot of the ones I normally share, and we're going to be topping them with a frosting as well. So they kind of make me think of little cakes, but in cookie form. They're very fun to make, but also very easy. So let's get started by preheating our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, you're going to need a large mixing bowl, and in this, we're going to combine a half cup of softened unsalted butter, all of that butter. We do not waste butter around here. And we'll also add a cup of granulated sugar, and then you'll want to use an electric mixer to beat everything together until it's well creamed. You could use your stand mixer for this step, but I prefer to use my hand mixer instead. Once it's well creamed, the mixture will be well combined, light and fluffy. All right, once our butter and sugar is well creamed, we will add our key ingredient, which is a half cup of sour cream. And I do recommend using full fat sour cream here. Add that right into the batter. And we're also going to add one large egg. Crack this over here first. We'll also add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and stir these ingredients together until everything is nicely combined. If you saw those little black specks in there, those are actually from real vanilla beans because I use my homemade vanilla here. So they actually add a really nice flavor to these cookies. Now, before we go any further, I do want to tell you about an optional ingredient that I do like to include. If you want to give these cookies like a lighter, brighter flavor, you can add a tablespoon of lemon zest here. So I am going to do that. It adds a nice bright flavor and it helps keep the cookies from being too sweet. So only use it if you like lemon, obviously, but I do often include it when I'm making these cookies. We'll go ahead and stir that in as well. And then we can set this mixing bowl aside. You'll need a separate one for your dry ingredients. So here I have two and a half cups of all purpose flour. I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of table salt as well. We'll whisk these ingredients together so they're nicely combined. And then we'll gradually add the dry ingredients to the wet. This is a lighter batter, so I'll usually do this in like two parts because the flour is going to absorb pretty easily into the dough. We'll do it in three parts. Two is making me a little nervous. The thing about adding flour too quickly is it can be difficult for the wet ingredients to absorb the dry ingredients and it can become really difficult to mix it in. It can make it harder for you to have a uniform batter. It can lead to a more crumbly dough. So just adding the dry ingredients gradually, there is a reason behind it. Third part. And you could use your electric mixer on low for this if you prefer, I'm just doing it by hand. All right, so once that's all combined, the nice thing about this recipe is that you can go ahead and bake the cookies right away so long as your oven is preheated. So I scoop this cookie dough by level one and a half tablespoons. Just drop them right on the baking sheet. I do space the cookies um, at least two inches apart because they're going to spread some. And we'll take these over to the center rack of our 350 degree Fahrenheit oven where they're going to bake for about 10 minutes. Now we're going to be frosting these cookies. So one thing that I like to do is within a minute or so of them coming out of the oven, I will take a clean surface like the bottom of a measuring cup and I'm just going to very, very lightly flatten the top of each cookie. This is just going to give me a smoother surface for decorating the cookies. It also sort of condenses the cookie a little bit, which makes it a little bit more chewy which I personally really like. Now these cookies will have to cool completely before you can decorate them. I'll usually let them cool on the baking rack for like five minutes and then I'll move them to a cooling rack to cool completely before frosting them. So while the cookies are cooling, we can go ahead and prepare our frosting, which comes together really quickly. It's a lot like a buttercream frosting. It starts with one half cup of softened unsalted butter. And I also have one and a half cups of powdered sugar here. I'm going to add a bit of that in with my butter. And I'm going to stir these together until they're smooth and creamy, and then I'll continue to add the powdered sugar until it's all been added. So to change up the frosting a little bit from a classic buttercream and to incorporate that sour cream in these sour cream cookies, I also like to add two tablespoons of sour cream. And I'm also going to add a fourth teaspoon of salt for flavor as well as a teaspoon of vanilla extract. But if you wanted, instead of the vanilla extract, you could use lemon juice or lemon zest here instead. We'll stir these in. 
And that is all there is to making the frosting. So we can go ahead and pipe it right over our cooled cookies. Now you can color this frosting if you'd like, add sprinkles on top, it's very versatile. The cookies that I shared over my blog and in the beginning of this video with the pink frosting, I actually added a tablespoon of freeze dried strawberry powder to them for a subtle strawberry flavor. And that was really good as well. Now for decorating the cookies, you can of course do this any way that you'd like. You can pipe the frosting on, you can just use a spatula. I'm just scooping about two teaspoons of frosting and just smearing it over each cookie. I don't like to go overboard with the frosting on these cookies because it can make them too sweet in a hurry. So just a light covering works really well. And I wasn't going to add sprinkles to these, but they're looking a little plain without them. So we'll just do a couple sprinkles. Can't help myself, much better. And that is how you make these old fashioned sour cream cookies. If you try this one, let me know what you think. I always love hearing from you. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Mm. It's so simple. It's so good. Mm.